Hello again, my name is Enoch Garcia with Honest Accounting Group, and today we're going to review how to create a job costing detail report in QuickBooks Online. This is a very useful report for contractors or project-based businesses to see how each category is performing. So let's get started. So once you log in, you're in your dashboard. Uh, let's go to reports. This is not a report that exists, so we're going to have to create it. So start typing in transaction on the, on the search bar. And we're going to go transaction detail by account. I'm going to set the date to this month. And now we want to select a couple of things. So let's go to customize so we can start formatting the report. I'm going to go to distribution account. And this is where all of our products or services are pointing as an expense account. So in my case, it's going to be cost of goods sold. I'll show you how to verify towards the end. So now let's hit run report. So these are all of the transactions under cost of goods sold for this month. Now I want to break them down per product or service. So I'm going to go to group by product or service and run report. So now we have all of our transactions broken down by product or service so we have concrete roofing electrical and so on but we don't know what job these are for so if we go to the gear icon up here hit show more hit customer now it'll show us it adds a uh, column and it shows us what customer these transactions belong to so in this case it's cool cars and amy's in the case that I just want the report to show cool cars or Amy's or whatever the customer it is that you want this report for, go to customize again, customer, and select which one you want it for. In this case, it'll be cool cars, run report, and now we have our report to show how much we've spent per each category, this date range for this customer. Now. Every time you exit and return, you're going to have to recreate the report because this isn't a report that it's automatically in QuickBooks. So what I recommend is you saving it. So go to save customization and you can rename it. So I'm going to call it job cost detail dash um, let me remove this cool cars. And you can even add a group. I typically name it the customer's name. So cool cars, add, and there we go. We just hit save. And now the report is saved. So when I go to reports, custom reports, we have cool cars, job cost detail for cool cars. And there we go. We're back where we started. If you don't want this column, all you have to do is go to gear icon, show more, and deselect and so on. Now, in order to ensure that you know what expense account your product and services are pointing to so that this report is useful, go to the gear icon at the top, product and services under list, and just go to the, um, to the items or the product or service. In this case, I'm just going to use plumbing as an example. Go to edit, and this is where it shows what expense account is pointing to so this is going to be the distribution account in the report that we just created. Save and close. Let's go back to reports. And just to confirm, this is the distribution account that we want the expenses to be shown for. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to give it a like and uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever we upload new videos. Um, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.